timeline of the life and career of Alfred Hitchcock, the master of suspense. August 13, 1899. Alfred Hitchcock is born in Leytonstone, Essex, England. In 1914, Hitchcock begins work at W.T. Henley's Telegraph Works, and by 1919, he has worked his way up into the company's advertising department. Hitchcock begins his film career in 1921, when he is hired as a title designer at Famous Players Lasky, the London studio for the American company Paramount Pictures. It's here that he meets his future wife and lifelong collaborator, Alma Ravel. 1925, Alfred Hitchcock goes to Germany to direct his first film, The Pleasure Garden. Here, Hitch is influenced by German expressionistic film techniques. On December 2, 1926, Alfred Hitchcock and Alma Ravel are married. In 1927, his first thriller, The Lodger, is released and is a great success, elevating Hitchcock's renown in Britain. July 7, 1928, Alfred and Alma's only child, daughter Patricia, is born. Through the latter 20s, Hitchcock directs a string of successful silent films. In 1929, Hitchcock releases his first sound film, Blackmail. In the early 30s, Hitchcock directs several more motion picture features. His directing career begins to ebb as these films take a dip both critically and commercially. Hitchcock reaches a self-described low point in his career when he directs his only musical, Waltzes from Vienna, released in 1934. That same year, Hitchcock redeems himself with The Man Who Knew Too Much. This begins a string of hits known as the Thriller Sextet, which includes The 39 Steps in 1935, Sabotage and Secret Agent in 36, Young and Innocent in 37, and The Lady Vanishes in 1938. Hitchcock's success captures the eye of Hollywood and in 1938 signs an exclusive contract with producer David O. Selznick. His first film for Selznick is Rebecca, released in 1940. It's a critical and commercial success. It wins the Academy Award for Best Picture and Hitchcock is nominated for Best Director. During the 40s, Hitchcock directs several successful features and completes his contract and contentious relationship with Selznick with The Paradigm Case in 1947. In 1948, Hitchcock founds Transatlantic Pictures with an associate. After two unsuccessful releases, including Hitchcock's first color picture, Rope, it folds in 1950. That year, Hitch signs a deal with Warner Brothers and returns to form with the suspense hit Strangers on a Train in 1951. This begins what film historians dub Hitch's peak years. After Warner Brothers, Hitch signs a five-picture deal with Paramount. The first film is the highly acclaimed Rear Window with Jimmy Stewart and Grace Kelly in 1954. In 1955, Hitchcock's agent persuades him to host a weekly TV series, Alfred Hitchcock Presents. It's a hit and makes Hitchcock a household name. The series runs for a decade. Topping off his Paramount contract, Hitch directs the unforgettable Vertigo, also with Jimmy Stewart in 1958. Hitchcock continues his role with another hit for MGM in 1959 with North by Northwest. In 1960, Hitchcock releases his smash hit, Psycho, the most profitable film in Hitchcock's career. Hitch continues to earn his title as Master of Suspense with the disturbing The Birds in 1963. Hitchcock begins to wind down his film career at Universal Studios directing Torn Curtain in 66. In Failing Health, Hitch directs his last film, Family Plot, in 1976. During his career, he directed 53 motion picture features. Although nominated five times, he never won an Academy Award for Best Director. In 1979, Hitchcock is awarded the Life Achievement Award from the American Film Institute. On April 29, 1980, Hitchcock dies at age 80 in his home in Bel Air, Los Angeles, California.